welcome back to ECU team channel today we have a sunny weather and I'm wearing sunglasses because of that sun be hitting me directly to my face so I want to start off with a regular problem with this BMW 3 series now it got a problem with the cranking and it's doing this thing Now, the customer brought the car into us saying that he got a problem with the engine computer and we need to run the diagnostics through it to make sure that's the problem. And then after that, we need to see if the car will act the same way uh, as before. Now, it's just cranking and it's not starting right now, but uh, we need to reprogram the computer and see if that will fix the problem. Uh, this car, just today, we will find out exactly what's the problem and potentially fix it for the customer. I believe that there is more uh, mechanical damage to it other than there is electrical. Uh, we will still do everything that we need to do to make sure that the car runs and that the moment it's not running is just cranking. So now what we will do is we will program uh, the used computer into this uh, BMW. We'll take the information from the original module, put it into the one that the customer provided for us, test it out and see yeah, if it works or not. So stay tuned. So now let's put back the connectors properly where they belong because it's uh, size to size and the color to color as well. So the blue connector, uh, the blue connectors go into the uh, color blue and the black one goes into the color black. Okay, so after we started the car, it's time to test drive it. Uh, we've seen that the cranking is still holding in there, uh, but in the end it starts. Now I need to just take it out on a test drive and see how it performs because uh, it wasn't starting before and now we need to see maybe there is something else that we need to spot. Maybe there is something uh, that needs to be done to the car. Um, we programmed to the computer for the guy, we aligned it to the CAS and the key to the point where the car starts. And the first thing that we want to do is, um, before I will go, uh, let's hit the RPMs and see how it acts. Uh, if it's good, we'll take it out on the road, do a little test drive. Uh, and then after that, I'll contact the customer, let him know that he can stop by and pick up the car because now the car is working. Okay, so <laughs> the RPMs are good. I pushes all the 6,000 RPMs in the car. Now it's time to get it out on the road and see how it performs on the road. Right, test driving the BMW 330CI. Now we'll take it out on the road. The first thing that I wanna mention is that the idle speed is good. It stays below uh, 1,000 RPMs, which is good. 
and so far it drives smooth I don't notice really anything that's big what I do notice though is once it switches the gears there is like a small um, like someone is kicking it you know the transmission is kicking it Actually, after I got it on the road, the car does shift good, it shifts smooth, but uh, on the lower RPMs, it, it does give that little kick. I'm not sure if that's a problem with the, with the, um, with the software in the car. Uh, upshift, kick, downshift, another kick, and that's only on the lower RPMs. If I'll be able to push this car to its limit, I don't think so that it will give me any problem uh, with the kicking of the transmission. Yeah, yeah, it does kick. It does kick. Oh yeah. Low RPMs, it kicks. But the good news is that we finally got the car on the road. The customer couldn't get it going at all. So what we did is we, again, we reprogrammed the module for him. Uh, right now the car is driving on a module that we reprogrammed. It's not the original module and it started right up. When we plugged it into the diagnostics tool, it did show us uh, uh, some codes, but they're not related to the transmission, which means that potentially there is more uh, to it other than the transmission control module, which previously we also programmed uh, for the guy. And now, uh, what we need to do uh, is pretty much call the customer, let him know that he can stop by and pick up the car. We believe that there is a problem with the wiring harness because uh, the guy already replaced the crankshaft sensor. The reason why he had to replace that is because of uh, the way that the car was cranking. But the guy would never take care of the actual, um, uh, what do you call it, um, a wiring harness. So again, it drives smooth, it started hard, but you know, it started and took it around the block a little bit. There is no problem other than uh, the transmission hitting the gears at the lower RPMs. It, it feels a little bit rough, but other than that, the car is drivable. I like it. right that's pretty much it thank you guys <laughs> thank you very much for watching this video we'll keep more of these videos up on the channel just make sure you click on the subscribe button leave a like if you like this video another car for a customer that was put back on the road and i'm happy to say that uh, it drives it drives good thank you very much guys this is edward with ecu team Leave a like, subscribe to, to our YouTube channel for more content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.